We're driving this morning from Mizan to Turkey, land of the Surma people. In case you didn't hear, they're shouting, you, 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 you. <laughs> it's either you, 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 or else they call us Frenji. Frenji, Frenji. But usually it's you, you, you. <coughs> Ethiopia also grows rice. They're drying the rice along the road. Is that a checkpoint or just a boundary, the flags? A oh, it's a checkpoint. Okay. That road there was Chikambela, but it's not a safe road, so we have to, we have to take this longer way. They're Between. lungs. Yeah. Those are lungs, but not the whole thing. All of those lungs. Wait. Land yes, he did them. And hot sauce. Uh? Taking a ten-minute break, and then we're heading toward the river, and the road is going to deteriorate from bad to obnoxiously horrible for eighty kilometers, and we figure. We figure the 80 kilometers should take us about three hours, depending. It's hot. I'm tired. I'm sure our driver is equally tired, if not more. He's the one who has to drive on this road. The driver needs something. He, need, he needs energy. He needs energy. And we're, we're doing Fanta energy. That's our energy. We saw some German tourists that are coming from where we are going. Bye bye. Goodbye. We're coming to the Okobo River, and if there's military there, I have to turn my camcorder off immediately. Okay, we have no military here, and we're crossing a boundary into another area. After that inauspicious beginning on the road, the road is not that terrible. Salam. Hello. Hello. We lost the way. We had to come back five kilometers. This is our camp spot? Yeah, it's our camp here. Okay. Yes, so Turkit is basically a Surma village. It's a Surma... It's Surma village or, or Surma town. Wait, you've got to see, I've been sitting in a puddle of sweat. We've been driving south for three hours. I'm, look at the back of my pants. <laughs> from the heat, from the sun, from the sweat. This is a police station here. I don't mind telling you that it felt really, really strange pulling into a village where all the men, very tall, thin men are standing there either holding spears or they're holding rifles. And everybody's looking at us and glaring. It, it was really rather scary. The two of us feel like explorers. We really do. It, this is what I expected the rest of the Ethiopian trip to be like, where you pull in and see people traditionally dressed, um, wearing their, their jewelry, scarification, etc. And She makes these plates, her lip plates, to sell. And goes in the mouth like that. Yeah. Yes, 